Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com. Today I have a fun project for you, actually a couple fun projects for you, using this ginormous alpha stamp set. This is the Farmhouse Font stamp set from Maker Forte. Now compare this to a regular 6x8 stamp set, and here's a 4x6 stamp set. You can see that this alpha set is so big, it's an 8 by 12 stamp set. So not only is this stamp set good for cards and paper crafting, it's also good for home decor and a bunch of other things. So today I'm going to make a card. I'm also going to talk about different ways to use a stamp set that's an alpha set. And I'm also going to make a home decor project. So I'm going to take out some letters here and we're going to spell the word Santa, like a little letter to Santa maybe. Um, this A though, I'm going to replace with some images. I actually have this set here that has a Santa head. I thought that was a little too small for replacing it. So I took out the shirt that's in there as well, which is kind of like a beachy Hawaiian shirt. And that's gonna replace that A. Now Maker Forte also has this stencil to help you line up your letters perfectly, get them straight and space them out right. And so for this slimline card, I'm gonna use this here to help me get my letters straight and space them out perfectly. So you can see there's a little line on each box that shows you the center of the box. And it's hard, a little hard to see in the camera, but there are little boxes with lines in them to help you get this perfect. Here we go, it's all lined up. So I'm gonna pick that up with my misty door and then I'm going to remove that stencil, put that away for next time. And I just wanted to mention, you could stencil inside that rectangle box there and create like a shadow or a, a, an inked background for your words to go on. And we'll stamp out these letters. I'm just gonna use black ink today, but I want you to think about all the different colors you could use and all the things you could spell with this. Like I was thinking the word create, but using rainbow of colors, all different colors. You can do pastels, you can do brights. It would be so pretty and lots of words you could do. I also stamped out the Santa and the shirt. And also one thing I love is the shirt has an inside piece that you can stamp flowers onto it. So if you don't want a plain shirt, you can certainly decorate it up <laughs> with this set. The goggles, on the Santa head says vibes in it. So it says Christmas vibes. And I thought I would color those in to look kind of like sunglasses. So darker goggles here. So it's gonna really say Christmas Santa when we're done, which I thought was kind of cute. And I'll just color in real quick his hat and using some various shades of red to kind of match that shirt that he's got there. Little Santa Hawaiian shirt going on. Another way I really love this font is because these letters are so large, it would be simple to make some monogram cards. And monogram cards are great, or monogram tags, so you know who you're giving that to. Just use the first initial of their first name or their last name, whatever you wanna do, just an initial card. Be really cute. To finish coloring up the Santa, I'm coloring his beard in shades, uh, um, like white with shadow, I guess it's gray using cool grays here, C1, C3, and C0, just to blend that through. Simple, simple coloring. Now, I don't have a card to demonstrate the monogram idea I had, but that would be a good one. And also, these letters would be great to stamp really soft in the background to create a letter background. So there's another idea for you, a lettered background. For this Santa card, I wanted to get the right measurements for layering this card to cut my red piece. So Maker Forte has this layering guide that is really great for reference to know just how big to cut each piece. So I cut down that Santa panel, I cut down the red panel using the measurements in that guide, and then I'm gluing this to my slimline card. And just like that, we're almost done. I'm just gonna glue on the Santa shirt and the Santa head. We're gonna pop up with foam tape. So how cute is this? Just a real simple, easy card, 
but super fun. Now, there's lots of Christmas words you could use too, like merry, bright, joy, peace, love, hope. Lots of words you could build with this set. It'd be super cute. So there we go. There's our Santa card for the inside. I'm going to take this stamp set that says make a note. You made it on the nice list this year. <laughs> I love this stamp set. There's lots of great sentiments that you can use for the inside of your card as well. Most often I don't stamp the inside of my card because I like to leave a lot of space to write a message. But today I thought it would be fun to use this one. And it says... Uh, the last part says, hope your Christmas is a special one this year. So there's our Santa card, Christmas Santa. He's ready for the beach. Now, here's my next idea, and that is to use this large stamp set for a decor piece. So I have here a piece of wood that is already cut, and I already painted the front red and let it dry, and I also stenciled a few snowflakes using some pigment white ink. I'm going to use the same stencil that we used before to line up my words so they fit right on this piece of wood that is colored, painted, I mean. This time I'm going to use the word Mary, so I'm lining those up, and as you know, there are not two of each letter in this stamp set. It's, it's a super large set, but still only one of each letter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a placeholder there of a different letter and I thought I would use the um, I'll put the Y there but just want to make sure I have enough room for that R. I thought I'd use the S but it's not quite as big as the R so I'm going to take this K here and it's just about the same size as the R so I'm going to stick that there just to make sure there's enough room and kind of space those out and this time I put the letters a little closer together so I'll take that K out so it is missing an R in the middle. And since this block of wood will not fit in my Misty, I'm going to use an old time, old school Fisker stamp press. This is from back in the day. I learned about this stamp press from Christina Werner and I still have it in the back of my drawer. I never, I hardly use it, but this is perfect occasion. I'm going to take this embossing tool from Rabbit Hole Designs and use that on my board so that when I emboss on it, it's not going to stick all over the board. So there I have it all placed on my stamp press. Now I'm going to take some Versamark ink. It's a clear sticky ink and go ahead and ink that all up. I'll line this up and those little feet barely fit around <laughs> the uh, wood board. So I got it on as well as I could. I should have considered those little feet because I think it's going up just a touch, but it's okay. This is gonna be cute when it's all done. I'm using some gold glitter embossing powder that I've had in my stash for a really long time. It's time to get some new because this was getting a little bit clumpy and it didn't cover as well as I wanted it to. So I heated up that M and real quick added some more embossing powder while that one was still warm. And I'm going to go ahead and do that to all the letters. Reheat that. So here I'm going to heat up the M and then I'll go ahead and reheat the E and the R and add, whoops, and add some more embossing powder there. Heat that up and I'll do that same thing to the Y. And then it's time to add that extra R. So I'm going to remove all the other letters. Just leave the R on the stamp press. Ink that with the Versamark ink and stamp that down right in the center there. I'm just eyeballing the, the placement at this point, but I think I did a pretty good job there. <laughs> so there you go, I'm, and then I'll just heat set that one and I'll do that twice as well. If you get any stray embossing powders, just use a small paintbrush to get rid of those, and that should do the trick. So this is a really fun little sign, so easy to make. No worries about cutting out vinyl or painting or anything. Just stamp it and heat emboss on the wood. It's really fun to do. And another thing that I'm going to do with mine is when I get the rest of the supplies, I will build a frame around this and I'll probably stain it a little bit darker of a wood color. So that will go around here. And I will add those pictures eventually to the blog, but 
I can't guarantee it with Christmas coming up. <laughs> That'll be soon, but I will. And here's another idea. I had the soda card that I made where I stacked those letters. Here's our Santa card. And then don't forget the home decor piece. So lots of ways to use the large farmhouse font or any alpha set that you might have. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out with YouTube. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel too so you won't miss a thing. And I'll be back real soon with more inspiration. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.